Master Breeder Award is Robin Kerry Anderson of Kingsville Jerseys. Well, I guess you uh, you couldn't talk about the Jersey breed in Australia if you didn't talk about the Anderson family. They established their jerseys in uh, 1886. They showed at Melbourne Royal in 1896 and showed at Melbourne Royal in 1996. A hundred years they showed at the Melbourne Royal show. Robert, of course, is uh, the late Bert Anderson's son that had King's View. And Robert started his stud, Kingsville, 35 years ago, I think, in about 88. He won the Jersey Australia Qantas Youth Scholarship in 92 and travelled to North America, which obviously broadened his horizons about the great Jersey cows in North America. And about the same time, his wife Kerry was a Miss Showgirl at Melbourne Royal Show. Robert has judged major royal shows around Australia and fairs around Australia and in New Zealand as well and judged the jerseys to be the first Australian jersey breeder to judge the jersey show at IDW and did exactly what we all thought he would do, an incredible job. He's a current board member and he's supported by his wife Kerry as I said and his three girls. They hosted the uh, Dairy finest sale at their wonderful property in a time when it would have been really, really hard to try and organise anything because it was right in the thick of COVID. And they did a marvellous, marvellous job and presented their farm like it's presented every day of the week to perfection. And it was an astounding success. And the work that Robert and his wife and family put into that at great event certainly did not go unnoticed and was wonderful. And it was a wonderful timing. Kingsville uh, won junior champion at IDW in 99, and then they won it again in 2019. They had champion cow at Melbourne show with the Lassie 16 cow in 2011. And at the Gippsland Fair, they've had champion cow in 2003, 2005, 2006, 2009, 2010, 2011, 2015, and 2018. Yes, they had the fair grand champion eight times. Pretty amazing. In the Great Southern, in 2009, the BP Bell 11 cow won the four-year-old. And in 17, their cow slip 115 won the two-year-old. They won the Great Australian that year with the cow slip 115. She won the Great Australian two-year-old. They had the number eight BPI herd in the breed and the number eight cow in the breed. They have an amazing production herd of cows with a production currently herd average of over 380 kilograms of butter fat. It's the number two milk solids jersey herd in Australia. To achieve this award, they've had three elite brood cows, 14 elite production cows, five elite type cows. They've bred some fabulous, fabulous bulls in the AI world, the Amada bull and Medill bull, Boast, Boyd, the current number 13 bull in the breed, Bashful, Bedford, Qantas, all household name bulls and really the amount of bulls that they've bred recently that a pole really encourages us all. If you want to go down the pole track, you're not only going down it because it's pole, you're going down it because they're great Kingsville bulls with wonderful cow families that have done so much for the Australian breed. And just recently, uh, Kingsville won the senior two and the five-year-old in the Central Gippsland uh, on-farm challenge. But here's a family of people that have been involved with the breed longer than anybody else. And if you want to talk about jerseys, talk to Robert Anderson. He's one of the most passionate people about the industry you'll ever talk to. I've had the good fortune of knowing Robert for a long time. His late father was good enough to take me to the Melbourne show in 1976. Robert was about five at the time. And uh, the amount of knowledge that I gained off his father is, is is something I can never put a value on. And to have known the Anderson family of, like I have for all this time has been a wonderful, wonderful privilege. And I think it's a great privilege for us as Australians to have people like Robert and Kerry and his three girls involved in this industry. They're wonderful, wonderful breeders. They're wonderful contributors 
to the Jersey breed and the greater dairy community. So to Robert and Kerry and family, congratulations and thank you on your wonderful, wonderful Kingsville jerseys and your Master Breed Award. Congratulations. Ladies and gentlemen, what a great night in the Jersey industry to gather together with friends, family, people that are passionate about one cow, the Jersey cow, but has given us a great journey along our life and our tradition. And I look around this room and there's some tremendous breeders that I expired over my lifetime and looked up to and um, just give you the drive and the passion and the encouragement to keep pushing forward and I look forward to in the years to come look at the next generation of master breeders that will come along and you know push the breed in the right direction. To Brian, we've, our family's had a long association with Brian and his amazing knowledge and history that we can all sit here all night and listen to is just amazing and I hope that he does take the time to write a book one day <laughs> because I'm sure we'll all just enjoy that history that we don't all know about and you know my father passed away when I was 16 and uh, there's a lot there that I didn't get to enjoy because I was only young but what my parents installed in me, I suppose, gave me the drive and the passion to, to explore the world and go forward. And I thank them for that. But I suppose it's in my DNA that Jersey's was always going to be my drive, my passion to take me to where we are today. But I can't do that without a very supportive wife and three lovely daughters that have helped that journey. So thank you. Congratulations, uh, Rob and Kerry. <laughs> 